Hi ladies, Laura Gabriel here coming to you live from my living room. It's the last morning of 2020. Yay! And I still have my Christmas tree up. Why not? I'll take it down tomorrow. Um, I just want to meet with you briefly here and encourage you to join us. We begin on January 4th, our Morning Miracles Challenge for January, and the theme is Restart and Refresh. I am so excited. I think it's a great theme, and I think it's going to keep us focused on Jesus and His work rather than relying on our own grit and determination and willpower to get all those things done that are on our hearts for 2021. Um, as I look back on 2020, I think that it was really bad, okay? I mean, I, I think it's appropriate to have like those negative feelings about what happened in 2020. Um, but a lot of us kind of stayed stuck throughout the year with like complaining and feelings of depression and fear, mounting frustration about the situation politically and economically in our country. And honestly, those feelings went really well together with what was going on in the world. So I can't really blame us for that. But as I think about 2021, I really don't want my feelings to match what's going on in the world around me anymore. I really want my feelings to match the truth of God and his promises and his kingdom, what's going on in his kingdom. So although I don't want my feelings to fit the circumstances, I want the way I display myself, not just online, but like in my day-to-day -day interactions to, um, to be different so that people take notice um, and so that those feelings honor God. So I talk a lot about feelings. Um, the feelings, I talk, it, it, it's not really a godly word, feelings, but it's, um, it has to do with your attitude and mindset, right? I want zeal, I want enthusiasm, I want passion and energy. I want all those things. Do you want any of those things? When we begin on January 4th, our Morning Miracles Challenge, I don't want to feel overwhelmed. I want to feel pulled forward by my love for Jesus. I want to feel um, like he's pulling me forward. And I know he will uh, because he wants that time with me too. So I want to show you something really quick. A few of my friends suggested this one planner to me. I'm not trying to sell it to you or anything, but I wonder if you have a planner too. I haven't even touched it yet, but it's the prayerful planner. Do any of you use this? Uh, one of the memes that was going around for 2020 was the worst purchase I made in 2020 was a planner. And I feel bad because I actually gave a planner to a lot of my girlfriends last year. Uh, and I used my planner. I used my planner for my morning miracles challenge. I used it to do the pavers. Every day I had a purpose through 2020. Every day I was setting my mind on the Lord. And I hope that's true of you too. Hi, Miriam. I think when we make our plans around the world, things are gonna fall apart. But when we put God first, there's always something to be done for his glory. There's always a reason to wake up and feel full of life. He is the fountain of life. He has living water. And so I encourage you, even if you felt like 2020 fell apart on you, get something to write on um, for 2021. Start putting your time with God as a plan in there make a plan, make an appointment for yourself to spend time with the Lord. Every day, I'm gonna have my pavers in here. And um, if you're not sure what pavers is, I encourage you to watch one of our past videos that we've posted. I have a Psalm for you. 
Um, the Psalms were just songs. I'm not gonna sing, sing it to you, sorry. But it came across uh, my, my screen, my desk this morning, um, and it's Psalm 145, verses eight through nine. Psalm 145, verses eight through nine. And it goes like this. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. I think about that Psalm and I'm like, I don't know if I really felt that <laughs> in 2020. Like, is God showing us compassion is he being gracious toward me? Is he, is he withholding anger from the world or is he displaying his wrath through what is going on? It's something I've been wrestling with and I wonder if any of you ladies, many of you who have um, been following in this Christian walk much longer than I have um, could speak to that. What do you think were God's purposes for 2020? Another exercise I'm planning to do today that I'm going to use my planner for is to reflect on people who um, really made a difference in my life in 2020. Who stood out in my life as people who really showed the light of the Lord in my life, continued to be a source of encouragement and a source of peace in my life um, and just helped me to stay on track, you know, with my thinking and my emotions. That's one of the things I'm going to do and I'm going to pray that God blesses them in 2021, um, that God really brings more blessing on them. And of course, you know, Jesus doesn't leave it there. He says, bless those who curse you. He says, your enemy, you need to be praying for your enemy. So I'm gonna think about the top five people that drove me nuts in 2021, 2020, and I'm gonna pray for them too, okay? I'm gonna spend a little time just asking the Lord to bless them and see what happens, you know? Um, I think I can think of five, and I think they're people you may know because they're prominent in our world today. Um, and some of them are private, you know, relational issues and things. We all have them. And I think that that is gonna be a really good exercise for me. So now that I've shared an exercise or two that I plan to do, please write in the comments something that you might plan to do. Maybe it's something you've already done to reflect on 2020 and bring 2021 into better focus and all that. I would love to hear from you and learn from you, my fellow sisters in Christ. And I'm really looking forward to our time um, with the Lord, these, these 10 mornings that we're gonna spend together starting on January 4th. So if you, if you haven't signed up yet, please do. And I look forward to hearing from you. God bless you, may I encourage you. God's signs, follow God's signs, not dollar signs in 2021. That's my little catchphrase thing. Uh, haven't said it much lately, but it's so true. So I say it again. Um, your pocketbook, don't let it run your life. Put faith first in all you do and see how he works things out for you. All right? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Big hugs. And um, I'm looking forward to what God will do in January. I'll see you later. Bye.